Hi, I'm Mark Tewart, and thanks for tuning into our video series, Why Automotive Dealerships Struggle. Video number 16 is a lack of inventory strategy. What I do with dealerships when I first do consulting and training is I look at their, especially their used inventory, pre-owned inventory, and I create a model for them that's called a yield and a tiered term policy. Let me give you an example. If I were to go through your wholesale accounts for the last 90 days and look at any losses, if I were to go through your sales report for the last 90 days or six months or even a year, and I were to look at what you sold, and I were to look at what category that you owned that vehicle for, let me say that again, what you owned it for, and the grosses that you made on those vehicles, if I were to go through and look at your aged inventory report, and what categories they fall in, fell in by what you own them for. Let me give you an example. Here's what you would see. If I were to take below $10,000 cars, and then a second category of 10 to 14,999, if I were to go from 15,000 to 19,999, and then I were to look at $20,000 and above, well, that would probably fit the model of about 90% of auto automobile dealerships in America. And what I would do is take all those reports that I mentioned and plot them into the segment that they are out of. In other words, if I sold a car and it was less than $10,000, that would go into the category of below $10,000. And I would look at these numbers and I'd look at the percentages, not only for the month, for three months, six months, and I would put a spreadsheet together. And when I do this model and do the analyzation, here's what I find at most dealerships, not all. At a lot of dealerships, they're carrying way too much of high-end inventory, above $20,000. Why? It's easy to sit on your butt and buy it right off the TV screen there, your computer screen. But if you're going to get that lower-end inventory in the sweet spot from ten dollars to $15,000, you are going to probably have to get out in the streets, knock on some doors, make some connections, and go to the auctions. Well, the majority of your cars sold and the majority of the low-end credit is going to go to that $15,000 and below. So often what I'll find is there's way too much, maybe double the amount in high-end cars, but yet on the high-end cars we have a chance to lose a lot of money after 15 days. That's your sweet spot. After that, you're probably not going to make a lot of gross. That's what history shows. Now if I were to keep a low-end car, a $10,000 car or less, let's say, and I were to keep it for 90 days, does it really hurt me that much? Do I have that much invested? Is there that much floor plan if I'm floor planning it? And reality is, unless the engine fell out, could I wholesale it and still make money? The answer is yes, but not the $20,000 and above car. So what I would invite you to do is to look at a tier turn policy. If you have a $20,000 and above car, you may only want to do a 30 day turn on that car. And then if you're looking at the other categories, let's say the low end categories, the uh, below 10,000 or 10,000 to 14,999, you may want to look at just a um, 60 day term or possibly stretch the loan one out to 90 days if you're comfortable with that. The main thing is when everybody says do a 45 day turn, a 60 day turn, they're treating all the inventory the same. It's not. I'm willing to hang on to my low end inventory for a little longer because I don't get hurt and I have a much higher potential while I'm holding on to it. But on the high end, not so much. So that's what I call a tier turn policy and it provides a higher yield. But you gotta plot it, you gotta put it on paper, you gotta be specific, you gotta have a strategy. You can't just buy by the seat of your pants anymore. I'm Mark Tewart, make sure you tune in to the rest of our video series. Also go to my website at Tewart.com, get my free email newsletter, call us anytime at 888-2-Tewart. And as always, here's to you and good selling.